Hey guys, so as we head into the second half of the third year anniversary here on Dragon Ball Legends, I just wanted to talk about a topic that I've seen a lot of people bring up and sort of ask about, you know, ever since the anniversary started, which is, do I think we're going to be getting an Ultra character in this anniversary? Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting topic, right? We don't know for sure if we're going to get one or not, but I think, you know, based off of the fact that, you know, when they talked about the uh, Ultra Goku when he was first revealed in the video and stuff, they said it takes a little bit more uh, than three months to conceptualize and design and create these Ultra characters. And if we take a look at when Ultra Goku released, he released back on March 30th or 31st. So almost three months ago. So that would really put us in a position where it's not out of the question to see another Ultra character here. And I think if they were going to reveal a new rarity, like this is probably one of the biggest things this game has done since it's released, is introduce a new rarity to the game, you know, higher than sparking. Um, if they were going to do this, not within an anniversary, there's no way they're going to go into the anniversary and then just not release an Ultra character. I think the chances that we see an Ultra character in this anniversary at some point are very, very high. And what I think is going to happen is this coming week, so I'm recording this video on uh, June 19th, this video should be going live on June 20th, this is, that's a Sunday. Um, on Tuesday, the 22nd, I believe we should be seeing a banner with new units on it. Um, and then as you guys know, usually what they do is they go new banner with new units, and then the following week is a Zenkai, and then the next week is a new banner with new units, and then they sort of alternate like that every other week, right? So what I expect to see is this coming week, we'll see a banner with the units on it. And then the following week after that, we'll see a Zenkai or, you know, potentially an Ultra unit. So they sort of have these filler weeks where it's typically Zenkais or they could do a free to play unit. They haven't really done a new free to play unit in a while besides those six Gokus that came out. But what I think is possible is um, on the 29th, uh, March 29th, that would pretty much be three months since the release of Ultra Goku. Could definitely expect um well not really expect i guess is the correct word i would definitely see them um i wouldn't be surprised if they released an ultra unit uh there or it could be maybe a little bit longer down the line as we head into like early july we could potentially see an ultra unit as well but um, in this video i basically want to take a look at all the different options that i believe are very likely to be ultra units at some point in this game's lifespan and then we'll sort of narrow it down and we'll like we'll del basically how i did the um the surprise you ticket video where I like sort of had all the options and I narrowed it down and to what I thought was the most likely. So we'll do the same thing here. Um, we will start with uh, sort of like the obvious picks here, um, which uh, the first one most people anticipate seeing this guy at some point. I definitely think he's going to be an Ultra Unit at some point. I don't know if he's going to be next, but Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, one of the more iconic uh, characters to ever appear in Dragon Ball, right? I mean, he's trans his transformation in the Super Saiyan 2 would make an um, it would make, he would make a perfect like intro scene, right? The one we have for Goku right now is his first transformation into Super Saiyan. We could have Gohan's first transformation into Super Saiyan 2. Um, I think when you think about Ultra Units, right, you want to sort of think about what are the iconic moments in the series, and can you see this character having a you know iconic or dramatic opening scene to start the battle with? Because I feel like that's sort of what they base around their decision to make Ultra Units for. So definitely this Gohan, um, I think is definitely an option here. I mean, <laughs> this guy's still like one of the best units in the game, if not the best straight up, but. Um, it's not his fault, right? I mean, we, the character is one of the most popular characters that exists in this franchise. So, I mean, if this isn't next, it's definitely happening at some point. Then we have Final Form Frieza, uh, full power. Um, I'm thinking maybe this guy would be a transformation unit from Final Form to full power. I think at the very least, his, uh, his opening scene would be either him like stepping on the rock after surviving the spirit bomb, or just straight up him transforming from uh, final form into full power, and then like him getting buffed up and stuff like that could be a good opening scene. I feel like for a lot of these characters uh, that I have on here, a lot of the opening scenes would be based around a transformation, because they're just so iconic. But uh, this is something that Lineage of Evil definitely needs very badly, and he's kind of buff at all, uh, because they haven't received a new character, I believe, since Final Form Frieza, this guy. I believe he was after Metal Cooler, um, but it's been a very, 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 very long time. I mean, we got the Zenkai Final Form Frieza and Red Metal Cooler, but let's be honest, like they weren't anything special. So this team really needs help. I feel like this guy could definitely help the team out if they go with this route to make him an Ultra Unit in this uh, anniversary. Next we have the uh, Great Ape, sort of Saiyan Saga of Vegeta here. So with Ultra Units, their main goal for Ultra Units is to design these units to have um, animations that vastly outclass the rest of the game. 
And I feel like one way they can achieve that goal with this Vegeta is to give him some kind of great ape ultra, or uh, ultra, but ultimate attack, right? Ultimate arts card. If he had an ultimate arts card that like transformed him into a great ape and he like did a few punches or whatever and did like a mouth blast or something, that really could be like amazing to see in this game. Because we don't have any character right now that does anything like that, like goes into like a giant transformation and like does an attack. This could be the first for this game if they want to go down the path of making this Vegeta like sort of like a quote unquote uh, great ape unit, which uh, they obviously can't make him you know forever be a great ape because it just won't work within the scope of how the game game's mechanics you know work for you. But in terms of like what they're what like what they're limited to, him being able to do like an attack as their as his ultimate in a great ape form that would be amazing to see. So. Clearly a very iconic character, uh, you know, Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga. He has like that Gallic gun animation. All that stuff would be really, really cool to see in this game. Next we have Cell. Um, you know, obviously still Red Cell. The reviving Cell is one of the more uh, popular units you see in running around in PvP because he's so good with the revival mechanic. But I feel like for this Cell, there's a few uh, avenues they could take for a Ultra Cell. The first one being like when he shows up, um, when he gets revived, uh, when he like sh he death beams trunks through the chest. Like you, you could have a scene where you like see a death beam coming through like a bunch of smoke and maybe it like zooms past the enemy you're fighting and like that's when cell appears from the smoke or something like that that would be a really cool intro scene or instead of going the perfect cell they could do a perfect form cell so like when he uh, absorbs android 18 they could actually have him absorb 18 and then like transform from second form into perfect form cell that would be a cool one too but at some point, this is definitely happening, right? LF Cell, Ultra Cell, all that stuff's going to happen at some point. Cell is one of the more popular villains in the series. Same thing with Frieza, right? Next, we have everyone's favorite character. Well, we know for sure it's Legend's favorite character because they release one every two weeks. Uh, <laughs> Goku Black. Um, definitely would be Rosé. Um, I feel like, you know, what if they just made him a Scythe Rosé, but he actually uses the Scythe? like in the in the battle because the only time we ever see the lf rosa use the scythe is when his uh when he's lfing the opponent with his lf animation what if this guy's opening like cinematic is him creating the scythe and then we like sort of see him use the scythe as his strike arts animations or something like that like that would be that would be sick and then like his attacks would be like opening the rift you have you have like clones coming out of the rift and like attacking too like this guy could be really cool with his animation so this is probably something that we're going to see in the future. We already have an LF of him. We already have a transforming version of him. We already have like 50 different Goku Blacks in the game. And Ultra Goku Black is definitely happening at some point. In terms of if he's next, eh, we'll see. Um, then we have this guy. I don't know if this guy is technically like, oh, he's definitely up for an Ultra character at some point. For me, I'm definitely biased because this is one of my favorite villains in the, in the series. It's my second favorite villain in the series of the Frieza. Um, but I feel like the scene where he kills Shenron, they left that out of his transformation in this unit. So from base form to, to young version, uh, they didn't have him kill Shenron. Obviously, it'd be, just be too long for a regular transformation. But I feel like if they went with an ultra Demon King Piccolo, he would just be young, right? He would just start out as young. But the scene of him, like the intro cinematic of him, you know, starting the battle, maybe could be him mouth blasting Shenron and that's it. Like that's like he kills Shenron and the Dragon Ball's just like, you know, scatter or whatever. That would be a really cool way to do this. But I feel like this is probably among the characters that I have pulled up here, probably one of the le lesser likely options to be an ultra character. Um, and then honestly, to go along with him, I'm actually going to go to Broly afterwards, but we have Kid Goku, who I feel like is definitely a very strong contender to be an Ultra unit at some point here. Um, this guy, honestly, like they have the, um, what, do they, what do they call it? The Blast Through as the ultimate skill. Like that attack that he does to Demon King Piccolo, sort of as like the main villain of the Dragon, like OG Dragon Ball series, that is easily an LF for the attack. So I could see this Goku more so being an LF over an Ultra character, but at some point we, we definitely will get an Ultra Kid Goku. I just don't think it'll be the Kid Goku that beats Demon King Piccolo. I think maybe it'll be the Kid Goku that fought against like Jackie Chun in the World Tournament or Tien in the World Tournament or anything or something like that. Um, but an Ultra Goku, that's Kid Goku, definitely will come out at some point. Then we have Broly. This is like a no-brainer. Uh, one of the most, if not one of, if not literally the most popular villain ever in Dragon Ball is the OG um, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Um, I think when you compare him to Frieza, Frieza's probably more popular at the end of the day, but this guy is like right up there with him. Um, the perfect scene for this Broly. I mean, you talk about transforming scenes. 
we didn't see the yellow Super Saiyan Broly transform into the legendary Super Saiyan form, I feel like they're saving that for an ultra um, animation. Having like, you know, the blue haired Super Saiyan Broly from the first Broly movie, it, it, it'll be Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z movie eight, uh, where he sort of like explodes and transforms into legendary Super Saiyan. That would be a perfect ultra scene to start the battle. Like that would be, think about that. That that would look so cool. That would look so cool. He like explodes in like the green, the green light, like continuously like goes outward and comes in again like it, it would look really cool so this is definitely going to happen um then we're going to talk about this guy i feel like people don't really respect piccolo as much as i think they should piccolo is one of my favorite characters in the series i feel like a scene where um he starts out with kami um you know and then they sort of do like the namekian fusion together as an ultra scene to start the match that would be really cool um because i don't think we're ever going to be getting like a piccolo that like has a transformation mechanic or something with Kami it would I don't think it would work out so I think as an ultra character they could do this where Piccolo and Kami are both starting out in the beginning um, and then Piccolo sort of like you know touches Kami or whatever and then they do like the whole Namekian fusion thing and then he becomes Kami Kolo uh, to start to start out that would be cool um, definitely would help out all of his teams right then we have all the Gokus, um, and so in terms of if I think these guys are going to be next, I would probably say no, just because we already have an Ultra Goku, and I don't know if they're going to do for the second Ultra character another Goku. Um, it's not, it's definitely not out of the question because you know Goku's the main antagonist of the series, so I could, wouldn't be surprised if they did another Goku. But in terms of um, if it's next, I would prefer to see a different character. But here we go, just a bunch of Gokus coming up uh, in the next like three. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, when he first transforms into Super Saiyan 3 in front of uh, Boo and Bobbity, I feel like it's definitely worthy of an ultra, um, an ultra character. You know, it would be like the scene where he starts as Super Saiyan 2, and then like he does like the whole screaming thing. Obviously, it wouldn't be as long as that, but it, it would pan out as him like in that. Um, I think I feel like it's this actual pose. It would make it slightly different, where he's just like standing there menacingly next to Boo and Bobbity. That would be a good ultra character. Super Saiyan God, I feel like could also work. Uh, the God Ritual, um, it would actually probably be pretty tough for them to do that, just because in order to have, like, all those characters there, like, they, right, they would need, like, Goten, Trunks, Videl, Gohan, like, it would, and Vegeta, like, all those characters being on the screen at the same time, I feel like it's not something that's very feasible for them to do. So this would be a tough one for them to pull off, but maybe a different way to do this would be they would have, like, all those characters in, like, the black and white sort of, like, art that happens. And then the actual intro for the Ultra Super Saiyan God Goku might be maybe like the dragon or something. Like remember when he's fighting Beerus in Dragon Ball Super, and he powers up, and there's like that red dragon or something that like appears in front of him. Like that's something they could do for the Ultra animation. Um, then we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm telling you right now, this is 100%, 1 million percent going to happen. I know exactly what scene they would use for this. It's the intro to GT where Goku's standing on the rock and there's the moon behind him. That's literally like the most iconic scene from all of GT. Um, that, that Super Saiyan 4 Goku scene where he's on the rock and then, he, you know, the moon is behind him and his tail is like waving in the wind or whatever. That is definitely going to happen as like the ultra intro for a, a Super Saiyan 4 Goku at some point. It actually would sort of line up with the theme of the anniversary too, right? You know, it's the whole GT theme. So if they wanted to do that, they could. Um, I just don't feel like it's going to happen this soon just because we literally just got an, an LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I don't know if they want to keep spamming us with Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. Then we have Super Vegito and just along the, along the same line we have Super Gogeta. I feel like their ultra intros would sort of be the same. Um, and you, it would just be like, you know, Goku and Vegeta fusing, uh, Patara fusing for Vegito and then just doing the fusion dance for Gogeta. Um, nothing super special there, but we haven't seen that in the game at all, right? People were speculating this for a long time. Oh, we're going to be getting an assist unit, uh, you know, Goku and Vegeta assist that would fuse into Vegeta, or a Goku and Vegeta assist that would fuse into Gogeta. I feel like an easier way they can achieve that um, is just to make that the ultra intro. Um, and obviously they could do that for both uh, Vegito and Gogeta. And in terms of, like, if this is going to be next or not, I feel like it's always on the table, right? It, you're never, it, like, you're never dumb for thinking, oh, they're going to release, the next type unit is going to be Vegeta, or the next type unit is going to be Gogeta, because a lot of the times you're going to be right. <laughs> These games love spamming fusions, because they sell. So, there we go. Uh, next we have Trunks. I feel like this Trunks, when he first appears and uh, beats up Frieza, or kills Frieza, is a good candidate for an Ultra character. I don't know if he's super high on the list. I probably wouldn't think this guy would be next, but um, this is definitely a scene from Dragon Ball Z that I think is deserving of an Ultra character. 
Um, then to sort of go along with the theme of the anniversary specifically, um, we have a few characters coming up here. First we have the GT Goku that's doing the Spirit Bomb to kill Omega Shenron. I feel like this guy's actually pretty likely um, for the Ultra unit. Um, the theme of the anniversary is more GT-centric than future-centric, just because of the fact that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is like the main headline of the anniversary. And I think a good way to follow up with, uh, you know, sort of other GT stuff, it's very hard. Uh, <laughs> it's very hard to think of other stuff from GT that is very hype, uh, you know, besides Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, we, yeah, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku I, obviously is very hype, but again, I don't think they're going to do this considering they just did an LF of him. So I feel like maybe this guy might be a little bit more likely than uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku as an Ultra unit, but this would be a cool unit to see. Um, like the Spear Bomb would be his ultimate attack and it would just do like massive, massive, massive damage. Like that would be his gimmick. Then we have Spirit Sword Trunks. Um, I am a little bit torn on this one just because I feel like this is definitely a unit that is more deserving of an LF first before he gets an Ultra unit. Uh, this would definitely fit the theme of the anniversary. Again, it's sort of like two-thirds GT, one-third Future Saga. So this guy would sort of fit that Future Saga theme if they want to do this. But again, the whole... Like, this guy literally does one attack <laughs> in the anime, which is just stabs the Masu and slash him in half. That's, his, what, that's the one attack that he does. So to me, this is more of an LF-worthy moment than a... Uh, uh, than sort of like a, an Ultra character where he's doing all these different attacks and stuff. But maybe they want to go down this path. We'll see. Um, I think I think I'd say this guy's probably more likely than Trunks. Then we have uh, sort of like the meme one, <laughs> which I, I kind of do want to see this because just because I think it'd be funny. Goku with the Zeno button. <laughs> it does fit the theme of the future saga. Um, but um, I don't know. Like this, this would be a, a very wacky unit, right? He he would literally be summoning Zeno, and uh, I guess. This is sort of like more of an LF because then I would just like delete the entire existence that he's in or something like that. So I don't know. This is probably not super likely. It's just a meme option. So let's go through and remove some of the ones that I don't think are going to be super likely for this anniversary specifically. If they the, if they want to go ahead and throw uh, an ultra unit for this anniversary, I'm first deleting this. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I'm also going to delete Trunks here. Um, I, I don't think this Trunks is super likely just because of the fact that he's more oh, it's more so an LF in my eyes. This Trunks as well. I think he's. He's, he's deserving of an of a ultra unit, but he's just, I don't know, not yet. Um, Gohan. I feel like I'm going to remove Gohan as well, just because he doesn't really fit the theme of this anniversary, right? There's no, like, hybrid Saiyan Dragon Ball Z theme going on here. Don't get me wrong, this guy's definitely going to get <laughs> an ultra unit at some point. Guaranteed. I just don't think it's right now. Frieza. I mean, they haven't done anything LOE-wise in a long time. I'd probably remove him. Vegeta, I would say the same thing. It's not really fitting of anything that's related to this anniversary at all. Cell, I could actually see happening. Um, just because he is future, technically. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll leave him here for now. Goku Black, I will leave here for now. I would be very, very annoyed <laughs> if they actually did an Ultra Goku Black. Oh my god. Can you imagine what people would say if they did an Ultra Goku Black here? Uh, this guy, I would probably remove him. Uh, this Goku had to remove him as well. Broly, in my eyes, Broly is like never off the table. But, you know, movies, th this guy's Dragon Ball Z. I, I don't really see him coming out now, so we're going to remove him. Piccolo, the same thing. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I'll remove. God Goku, I'll remove. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I'll have leave him here because he's GT. And then I don't think you can ever really like completely rule out the possibility of, uh, again, Gogeta or Vegito, so we'll leave him here. So these are our options. I think these six are what we are looking at here. Perfect Cell, Goku Black, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Vegito, Super Gogeta, or the Kid Goku Spirit Bomb. Um, the problem with Cell is I feel like for an anniversary like this, they wouldn't really do a non saiyan i feel like the i feel like if we get an ultra unit for this anniversary there's almost like a zero percent chance that they're gonna not be a saiyan so i'll actually delete cell uh so it leaves us with these five here i feel like if you told me you think that any of these five are gonna happen as, as the ultra unit for this anniversary i would definitely like not call you wrong right if you if you guess this guy you i'd be like okay that's a good that's a good guess if you guess super saiyan 4 Goku, i said that, i'd say that that's a good guess this guy good guess this guy good guess and this guy good guess i'm gonna delete super saiyan 4 goku because again he, we literally just got an lf for him and I, I don't i don't really think that 
they would immediately then go turn around and do uh, an ultra of him. Rosé? I would say the same thing for Rosé, except for the fact that they released like 500 million versions of Rosé in the past like six months. <laughs> so, uh... I... I will remove Rosé, and I think we're down to these three. Um, I could see them doing a Gogeta over Vegito, just because of the fact that we just got a Vegito Blue summonable, and the anniversary this year seems to be more focused around Gogeta more so than Vegito, right? We had the entire story event where Vegito is literally saying to Zamasu, he's like, I'm not going to fight you because I want to see Gogeta fight. So in that, it, it, like, in that regard, I feel like Gogeta is more likely than Vegito specifically for this anniversary because it's supposed to be about Gogeta, right? We got Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta is the headliner for the anniversary. We got Zenkai transforming Gogeta from the Broly movie. So guess what? The only other iteration of Gogeta that we haven't gotten yet is the, you know, Super Gogeta from Fusion Reborn. So I feel like this guy could definitely be the next Ultra. And now it really comes down to, do I think it's going to be this guy or a Super Gogeta from Fusion Reborn? I think if you had to narrow it down to one or the other, I would probably go with this Goku. To me, this makes too much sense, right? The GT theme of the anniversary is too strong. Um, the only way to really follow up Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, is to come out with, you know, a character that is a Saiyan, first of all, that's like the requirement number one, and then second of all, they have to sort of be within the same, you know, degree of hype. I'm not saying this Goku is in the same degree of hype as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but as a free Ultra unit, by the way, I don't think this Ultra unit is going to be summonable, it's definitely going to be free, I think. Um, this sort of fits the the ticket of that, right? And then on that same on that same thought, um, I don't think Super Saiyan, uh, well, Super Gogeta from the Fusion Reborn movie, I could definitely see him being a summonable Ultra at some point down the line. I don't think this guy would be a summonable Ultra unit. I feel like he fits perfectly as um, a free-to-play Ultra character for the third anniversary. So, you guys down below, let me know what you think is coming as the Ultra unit here. Again, we're not confirmed that we're getting an Ultra unit, but I think it's very likely considering the fact that. Um, you know, they, they mentioned three months, we got Goku three months ago, uh, and it just seems weird to me that they would reveal and release an Ultra character, which is a new rarity, during, like, you know, some random period in March, um, and not save it for the anniversary. So, I'm pretty confident we will be getting one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.